How's it going you guys, Yap here, and this is going to be my first commentary of many for Modern Warfare 3. Showing you a game of Kill Confirmed, brand new game type, figured you guys would enjoy it. Kill Confirmed on Bakara, Bak Bakara, I think that's how you pronounce it, I honestly have no clue. Some of the names, well, actually this is probably the only weird name I find in the whole game, Bakara. I, w I was actually so curious as to what Bakara was, and I'm such a nerd. God, I'm so nerdy, that I actually googled what Baccarat was, and supposedly it's a market in the Horn of Africa, in Somalia. So, this doesn't look like a market, but it's close enough, I guess. And I sped up the first part, because honestly, this game, I'm going to admit it, I started out playing kind of campy-ish. Um, so, I sped up that part. This part, or the part I'm going to show you, is a lot more action-packed, and plus, I want to keep it under 7 minutes, because... Of course, ADD stops us from paying attention for more than, you know, six and a half, seven minutes. So I figured it's better off for everyone. Everyone. And it means I have to talk less, so I need to ramble less. And before I talk about my thoughts on multiplayer, I just want to talk about the class I'm using. I'm actually using, well, I have the ACR now. I picked it up. But I was actually using the G36C, which comes back from COD 4. Now, in COD 4, G36C was a very good assault rifle. It just wasn't very popular because it was outclassed by things like the AK-47, M4, M16. Stuff like that. But in this game, it feels like everything is a lot more balanced. Except for the shotguns, but I'm going to get into that in my... What I feel about multiplayer. So I'm using G36C, which I've recently fell in love with. I'm, I'm loving it a lot. G36C, silencer, proficiency is kick. Reduce that recoil a little bit. And I'm running Sleight of Hand Pro... Uh, what was it? Quick Draw Pro and Steady Aim Pro. Sleight of Hand lets you... Reload faster, Slide Hand Pro lets you switch weapons from primary to secondary faster. Quick Draw lets you aim down sights faster. Quick Draw Pro lets you throw uh, lethal and tactical grenades. And look at me getting sniped in midair. Right here, I was just like, what? Because I was about to get my Overwatch, which is a 9 kill streak in this game, and that kind of angered me. And Steady Aim, obviously, fast, uh, not fast, smaller hip fire, so, so to say, the reticle smaller. And Steady Aim Pro. Uh, you can aim faster while sprinting, and that's and this is actually probably one of my favorite classes to run with an assault rifle or with the G36C because this thing it feels like an assault rifle, but it plays out like an SMG. I find you can be very aggressive with it, and with this class setup, it's a very good Russian class. I'd recommend it with an assault rifle, except for the M14 because that's like that's a more campy back kind of assault rifle, or any of the SMGs. I would highly recommend you try this class out. And this is probably the class I'm using right now. But anyways, let us talk about multiplayer. That's what you guys want to talk about. I have wasted half this commentary just talking about absolutely nothing. Alright, so far, I'm not going to lie. And I might still be in the honeymoon phase when I say this. But Modern Warfare 3 is one of the most... It's, it's one of the most fun I've had playing a Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. I would probably put this second in terms of... Let's see. Okay. In terms of my favorite Call of Duties, I'd probably put this second right now. And my opinion might change. It probably will because I'm a very opinionated person. And my views get shifted very easily because I'm a sheep like that. But right now, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't live up to COD 4. But COD 4, I start on COD 4. And in my eyes, COD 4 will always be a masterpiece. And you really just can't live up to that. But this, this is pretty good so far, I'm not going to lie. It's more fun than Blops, than Black Ops, and it's not as bullshitty as Modern Warfare 2. And World at War... World at War was good, but I didn't spend too much time in it compared to Modern Warfare 2, COD 4, Black Ops. So, I, I played it, but I can't really rank it how I would. So right now, I would say it's, let's say something like this. It would be like COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, then... <sighs> honestly... I'm kind of stuck between Mono for 2 or Blops. And look at this. Triple Mono for 2 or Blops. Mono for 2 is a lot more fun. Blops was a lot more balanced. Take that how you will. But the multiplayer. I feel like everything in the game has a place. People say the sniping is overpowered. I don't think so. I've, see, I've seen people complain about how it takes no skill to quick scope, And I would like to object to that. If you bring out a sniper rifle, I'm not going to lie. You might get a couple lucky shots here and there but to do consistent to do consistent lead with the sniper that takes some kind of skill at least shotguns in this game pretty well worthless 
Uh, I had really high expectations for the Spaz because it was coming back and I was looking forward to it, but nope. It's pretty damn terrible. The only shotguns worth using are the Striker, which is semi-automatic. It's probably the best one in the game. And if you're looking for that pump action feel, Model 1887. Those are the only two shotguns that are honestly any good in my opinion. Besides that, let's see. Those are guns. Guns balanced overall. I'm loving the G36C. UMP, I have gold camo on it. I'm trying to get a gameplay with it. I have a gameplay with it in autumn camo, but I'm trying to get it with gold. But it's being a little moody with me, and it's not working out too well. I'm liking the Barrett in terms of sniper rifles. L11A8 or something like that. I can't even remember the name. I I like it, but I find it scopes in weird. I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Maps. Lots of buildings. Lots of buildings. As you can see here, my AC-130 does pretty damn badly because of all these buildings. People just hiding them. I think I get like 3-4 kills. It was pretty pathetic for an AC-130. Sandy Ravage would be disappointed with me. But the map's very good, I think, personally. And just take out some of the buildings. Obviously they can now, but I, I find the buildings break up the action and it slows it down a little bit. And finally, kill streaks. I'm running Predator. You all know what that is. Overwatch or AH6 Overwatch, which is probably one of my favorite kill streaks. It's a little helicopter that follows you everywhere you go and it guns down your enemies if they try to get close to you. It's probably one of my favorite kill streaks right now. And AC130, you all know what that is. I'm liking the kill streaks. I like the diversity you get. You can choose to be a support player, assault player, or a specialist. That Moab is very tempting. I'm trying to get it. Having a bit of trouble. Haven't been playing excessively. Been kind of busy, school and stuff. But yeah, that's it. Final score 30 and 4. Overall, Mono for 3 is pretty damn awesome so far. In the comments, tell me what you guys think of Mono for 3 so far. Has lived up to your expectations? Do you think it's not as good as you hoped? What could they fix? Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.